You are making so much money from the fact that you own the copyright in your musical works, your songs, your compositions. You're getting mechanical royalties. You're getting public performance royalties. And you have the ability to get what we call synchronization fees. What is synchronization? Synchronization or sync is when we are combining your music, your musical work, your composition, your song, with images. Anytime your work is being combined with images, that's called a sync. We are syncing the music with the pictures. Together, they're known as a sync. And you can make money licensing your musical work to people who create images. Production companies, whether they are in TV, film, developers who are in video games, advertisers who do TV commercials, they all allow you to synchronize your music with the images that they create. So how does it work? Someone, let's say it's me, I want to use one of your songs in my movie. Terrific. I contact you or your publisher, if you have a publisher, but if you don't have a publisher, you are your own publisher. I will contact you and ask to use your song. And then what I'll ask for is a synchronization or a sync license. You will charge me a fee depending on all sorts of variables. For example, where is my film being distributed? Is it being distributed all over the world? Or is it just being distributed for educational purposes to schools? How will the song be used in the film? Is it going to be the background music? Or is it possibly being used in the end credits? Or is it the focal point in the dance scene? Depending on how it's used will determine how much you charge me. Also, how much of your song am I using? Am I using the whole song? Or am I using about 15 seconds of it? That will also determine how much you're going to charge me for the use of your song. In addition, in what medium do I plan on exploiting my film? Is it going to theaters only? Maybe festivals only? Or is it going to be digitally streamed all over the world? Is it going on a DVD? Depending on the medium, that will also determine how much the fee is. Another thing that will determine the fee is something called a most favored nations clause. Most favored nation says that you will treat me no less favorably than anyone else you're licensing music to. So if you charge me, oh, let's say $500 for a background vocal in my movie, that means that everyone else that you're licensing from, you will charge no more than $500. Just keeps it fair. And not only that, but as a production company, one of my jobs will be to create what we call a cue sheet. The cue sheet will indicate every single time in my movie where your music is being performed. That way I can deliver the cue sheet to your performing rights organization so that they can determine the public performance part of the royalty or the fee. Lots of things go into synchronization. And of course, as I am the licensee, the person licensing the song from you as the licensor, I will be paying the fee directly to either you or your publisher. Synchronization is a fantastic way to make money, primarily because once you look at the use, the duration of the use, the medium, the territory, which is where the use is going to be exploited, you can charge anywhere from nothing, if it's only going to be seen at film festivals, to thousands of dollars for a synchronization fee. So nowadays, especially since revenue for songwriters is different now than it was 15, 20 years ago, synchronization has become even more important. How do you get a synchronization opportunity? Well, that's where you have to reach out to production companies, film companies, video games. Very often they have someone called a music supervisor. They're the best ones to get in contact with because they have the ability 
to shop your music to all sorts of entities. And lastly, if you have a publisher, well, of course, that will be your publisher's job to shop your music for synchronization opportunities so that you can make more money.